Hello there, my fellow auto socials, and welcome back to TNO. I'm your host, Mr. Ivan Serov, lover, and right now, stepping on the face. Excerpt from the NKVD report Preemptive Security Measures in the Republic Level XX Classified Report. Retrieve on orders of state personnel only. We have continued our campaign in the administer's terror stories with commendable efficiency. Initial incidents where soldiers try to disobey orders, defending targets from state intervention, or even outright assaulting superiors have been reduced by almost 70% from the previous quarter. We can attribute this to intensified internal re-education and liquidation campaigns, as well as to a general trend I refer to here as desensitization. I'll explain below. The onerous requirements of a revolution are born with increasing ease as the soldier becomes used to the solemnity of his work. He begins to see his, the national citizen in the proper place as tools to be used and destroyed for a greater glory. I believe this trend accounts for accelerating individual compliance with personnel corrective orders as well. We have received increasing numbers of domestic surveillance reports attached in addendum 4. Uh, dot Double I dot A are an example of these reports. Extraction operations continue as is usual with the intended effects. Nothing need to be said about them that has not already been said, nor does a continuation raise alarms in the public. In fact, I have not heard a single citizen talk of these events. We can surmise that the work of indoctrination is going so well that the need for discourse on this initially controversial policy measure can now be eliminated altogether. Even so, we have received reports that the disposal methods could stand to be improved. Attach are some rudimentary suggestions to maximize these disposals in a safe, discreet, and healthy manner. Note for some of these proposals, we will need industrial equipment, construction equipment. The work is routine but necessary. An unprecedented aggr act of aggression, our rival, the Siberian Republic, has dispensed with all diplomacy and launched a massive military in intervention into Kazakhstan, declaring war on every local power there. This astonishing move has ended all hopes for a peaceful re resolution to the disputes over the region and our government and military are scrambling to prepare a response. Our diplomats are encouraging us to come to the defense of the local powers and declare war on our rival. They say we cannot afford to look weak by allowing the invasion to proceed uncontested and we shall win the undying loyalty of the people of Kazakhstan by coming to the rescue. Once the war is over and our rival has been defeated with, this would make it easier to persuade the local governments that they would be better off integrating into our state. Our generals agree that we cannot risk humiliation by sitting in the crest itself, but they do not believe it is worth coming to the rescue of the Kazakh states. Um, pointing to our own plans to annex the region sooner or later. Instead, they advocate for our own intervention in response. With the armies of Kazakhstan already busy fighting a rival, we would be free to sweep in and capture most or even possibly all of Kazakhstan. This would allow us to continue our preparations for a possible future war against our rival. The third option would be avoid getting directly involved in the situation while we continue preparing for war on our terms. This might make us appear weak and cowardly to our rival. We would be handing over a large stretch of Russian territory, essentially uncontested, however. There is no denying that we have been caught off guard and we must carefully not to act recklessly. Strike them directly. Massum invade as well. Can enforce stay back? Nope, we're going straight on in at the same time. They have played their hand too well. And there was one comment, uh, one of the comments from yesterday was saying that, uh, yeah, it uh, seems like a lot of the Korean stuff about, you know, from this campaign has kind of been removed. I haven't, there's like been absolutely nothing about Koreans right now, which is supposed to be kind of Ivan Serov's thing, but, uh, we're currently doing whipping Russia into shape. But after that, we will go ahead and do. Nationalistic determination. The Red Army lacks pride in the nation it fights for. Our soldiers need to know what they're fighting and dying for, not for valor or pay, but for the survival of the Russian nation. They must be prepared to go to heck and back and sacrifice their life. If they do not, what will become of the Russian people? Very good question. Uh, we don't need to see that one. Um, this stuff we don't need to see either. Thank you very much. And we can do this stuff, but we might do that one. We'll do that one too. Project Molina. I do want to keep in mind, just because that looks pretty good to do. And nationalistic determination. I'm not really worried about this at all, I'll be honest. Um, 9,000, they've lost 15,000. Wow. We've killed... Holy bad words. We've already killed 160,000 of them. They've up to 49 divisions. Of course, we don't have enough divisions yet because we do want to take on Germany, but communist tactics. But after we get some better tanks, of course. And better APCs. Thank you very much. Improved main battle tanks. Actually, from here on out, uh, that's not enough. Go 16. We want a lot. Um... Cool. Adapting the WRF's tactics and command structure is critical for victory. The Red Army was only the real organized army in West Russia before ascendance, and we need to make use upon their officers and plans. Communist tactics call for the old strategy of deep battle, an aggressive theory based upon aggressive warfare, and an army with an iron will. Two 33% bonus for land auction, which is kind of useless, I'll be honest. It's completely useless for us now. That's alright. Increased Kazakh support. Um, I wonder if we can get them with us. Let's see. It is 1970. We just finished 72 stuff. Let's grab some of it. Oh, oh. 30% more land air is extremely strong. A nationalistic determination. One giant red fist. Puchkov stared at the giant beaming face of the Commissar Marshal, hovering over the banner like an incantation of some arcane spell. Colored in flashes of red and gold, the face was flanked by the words, Follow the path of the state in all directions. Two assault rifles hung helplessly by the sides of the emblem. Oh, look at that. Ring. 
in case the message wasn't clear enough. The general secretary's name was written below in slightly sm smaller subtext. At least this one had artistic sensibility. Butchkov had seen a half dozen artistic slaughterings of the gen sex name by fools trying to do outdo each other in flattery. This was one merely passable. It wouldn't pass through the, even a routine inspection under the old regime, but with truth be told, the propaganda department of the media ministry was not in the best of shape. They simply didn't have the time or energy for anything different. Sipping at his tea flask, he began the work of fusing all the contradictory streams of propaganda into a single stream of thought. Jensek Serov had asked for a specifically short address, one with a few words but one of substance, eminently suitable to a corporate board meeting, perhaps, but as an exhortation, it was a crippling limitation, even so. Puchkov wasn't paid to take ownership of expensive failures. If there was a speech he could render from this mess, he darn well would. He worked through the night, his paper a canvas upon which the broad brushstrokes arose of a speech, references to the powers of the people here, a sideways glance to the workers as it was made, and then a cinematic term, when in scope and physical angle, to the children, an exhortation to follow the directives of home defense and voluntary surrender excess rations, followed by a heroic comparison to the revolution. Yes, it was all coming together now. And if this propaganda campaign was successful, perhaps the Red Army would grant even a commission bonus. It would be a speech of iron and fire. Very good. And technically we can prepare for unification wars just like what they did. Uh, but I do want to do this stuff. Oh, do you have to be? Oh, to be? Oh, to be? Peaceful. That sucks. Final conflicts will be it. Um, up next will be class and national emancipation. The people are confused, and this must be rectified. They ask: Does Sarah stand with the communists or fascists? Does he support a class revolution or a national revolution? The answer is, of course, obvious. Both. But still, the proletariat does not know whether our great leader tru truly believes in his rhetoric. Um, there was. I just it dawned on me the other day when I was taking like a shower or something. I was just walking around like Sarah. Sarah. That sounds familiar. Is this who My Little Pony or the Equestrian War Devs got Sinister Seraph from? Ivan Seraph? Hmm. A most noble cause. People of Russia, I fight for you. I fight for the ultimate good and the reclamation of the West. The goal is not death nor glory, but for the truly Russian socialist utopia. Join us together. But we're going to do this one first, just because I want to get that research done as fast as possible. And increase the theoretical development progress by 15%, and a the progress gain by 3%. What's not to love? Hammer, sickle, wheat, chaff. General Secretary Serov paced around the room, his historical materialist research and ground to halt for the second time in two days. What was wrong with him? Was there something he'd failed to consider, some untouched piece of demographic theory that had eluded him? His volume of materialist analysis had brought together some of the most complete socialist research studies of the nation ever compiled, and yet something was missing. His estimates of industrial progress for Russia were a key part of his unpublished auto socialist thesis, but compiling a working theory for a Soviet industry was proving difficult. There was something that almost malevolent to the way that Kolkhol's system, a plunge in the 30s and the 40s, almost like an external force gently shoving its boot into the soil, leaching it out of nutrients and vitality. A cancer grafted into the Russian workers, but who could it be? And for what purpose? Musing, his eyes wandered to the dustiest corner of the history book collection, A History of the Russian Far East, 1895-1940. He scoured the demographic history of the Union in virtually every other area. Perhaps the land beyond Amur would provide some insight. He took its hefty weight, checking the spine for defects, and began to read, even tumbling down, or even turned to dawn. Sarah put his book down, his eyes wide and unblinking. He had uncovered a conspiracy vast in scale, a conspiracy to infiltrate the corners of the Union with rootless people, and it went all the way to the top, yes. And he had the answer for his agricultural industrial malaise. It had been staring him in the face this whole time. Now it was time to warn the rest of Russia's workers and pray, and to pray that he had not been too late. The very next week, posters bearing Asiatic figures appearing on every city of every district in the Republic. Be on guard for Korean parasites, workers! The Koryo Saramanis must be destroyed. There it is. I said this earlier as a comment. Oh, we got it a little bit of it. Another blow for crypto capitalist internationalism. We've got it. I wonder where that was going to pop up, because I was wondering, because people say, like, he's kind of anti Korean. I was wondering when that's going to show up. Oh, we need more manpower, too. We got a lot of cities. We got a lot of factories churning out stuff. Uh, we can spend more. Do we Do we need to spend more, though? Tanks? Yes, we do. Oh, my goodness, yes. We are way out of equipment, so we got to spend more. And I do want to save some PP here, because we will need to core all this territory that we're taking over right now. So that'll be good. Uh, they have 31 divisions. They've lost over half a million. We've only lost 40,000. We lose more manpower to making divisions than actually losing them to enemies. So... I mean, I'm feeling pretty good about this, don't get me wrong, but this is just definitely not enough divisions for a war with Germany and or Japan. Better than just equipment to go under, but that was good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, is there anything here? Well, uh, industrial activities, I can kind of wait. Excellent. Hey, we're modern industrial equipment. Great. A most noble cause, my friends. A most noble cause in expanding the Russian proletariat. Siberia lacks some manpower we need to conduct a revolution. This is in due, in part, to birth control and contraceptives, and the actions of the media that will suppress procreation. We will encourage the papers and radio to promote the national pride inherent to expanding the proletariat. Russia's population will not just grow, it will explode. Nice. Replace nationalistic determination with nationalistic determination and proletariat expansion. Very good. 
All right, what's next? Uh, probably stuff down here. Actually, no, it's not. Not yet. Not yet. Um, we can still do that stuff, but I'm not really interested in that for now. And the new Mox. Oh, that's a beautiful icon. Word has begun on the street of a great new socialist leader, one who triumphed even Bukharin and Lenin. His name is Ivan Serov. He has become the new Karl Marx. His ideas will shape the world for centuries to come. It already, Serov makes proud speeches on this compliment. How may one be humble when he has reached this stature? How can a revolutionary philosopher not preach his philosophy of liberation of nationalism? And get 15% more political power. Actually, that's really good. I like that a lot. That, I love this icon. I love it so much. That's so awesome. Whoever, whoever the artist was who did that, thank you. That looks. I like it a lot. That looks really awesome. We're all friendly Ordo Socialists here, my friends. Are we not? Keep going, men. And women. 1, 2, 3, 51, 71 divisions. I want at least 80. At least 80 to take on Germany. Because Bald Man Bormann is going to be a thick boy to take out. Uh, he's got a lot of man... Tons of manpower. Um, oh, actually, by the time we're done with this war, we'll be comparable in industry. But he has so many divisions. Holy crap. I think it's probably best to go to war with Japan first. They'll probably try to naval invade us. And then we'll try to take out Muscovine again. Because I do have the second Russian... Second West Russian War mod installed. So we should be able to do that in this episode. The new mocks. <clears throat> the triumph of the theorist. The scream echoed off the walls of the cells and General Secretary Serov chuckled to himself as a noise reached his ears. The ideological fortification of the Soviet man. Such a beautiful melody, like the sound of heavy machinery in the dawn, the tearing down, rebuilding and tearing down, rebuilding once again of the human spirit. Each time approaching the Russian socialist ideal, until at last, all at once, the spirit rose bloody and free into the air like a hatchling. Serov took a deep breath. He was getting ahead of himself, and the prisoner would no doubt need a little counseling after his revolutionary criticism. Pacifists were dangerous degenerates, weakening the Russian working class with their existence, but they too deserve leniency in any case. Ivan would need to fill out the paperwork for this one's transition to a full-blown labor. Time to tidy up after himself. He gathered his notes, dense with self-references and diagrams, but at the same time marvelous in their simplicity. While Lenin and Bukharin had built an imperfect mirror, he was constructing a crystal chandelier. Its lights came from within, its beauty, the perfect strength and unity of its workers, and into an end of the class warfare and petty materialism of the past, an end of the faux socialism and the factional squabbles, only the iron will of the party in the workers' front, driving Russia ever onward towards the future. Serov saw it now, the pl platonic brilliance of this nation, elegant as the spheres of the cosmos. All that was necessary would be to write it down, yes, yes. Yes, yes, to add a little to his notes. Perfection upon perfection. Serov ducked his head and began to write as another scream rent the evening air. The poor little prisoner would have to wait a little longer. The nation, after all, was bigger than the interests of a single man. Yes, I read theory. How could you tell? <laughs> uh, this is a fun campaign. I I'm enjoying uh, Mr. Ivan Serov. I think he's an interesting character. And the Gozi Shavi. Oh, uh, we're at war. We can't actually help out there. Huh. Uh, I guess Irkutsk? Night vision is going to be super, super good. Uh, it is 71. Let's grab some of this because we're going to need to get some the the Teutons. Now, we're not Omsk. Oh, nice. Take a night of the long night. Very good. But still. Oh, do we win? Oh, we won. Holy crap. Okay, then. Well, then, the race for Kazakhstan. Oh, Kazakh baby. We're just going to launch a military invasion anyways. Um, 26 divisions. Oh, I was, I was wondering. Oh, that's 45%. Can we actually influence this one? What happens if we try to get to 55%? Because we got time. I want to wait to do this one first. So, and let's just go ahead and integrate as much as we possibly can. Uh, let pod real quick. Where are the most popular states? Tomsk, obviously, Novosibirsk. Uh, Irkutsk is probably pretty good. Chida, Amur, the Far East is, is just not a lot of manpower over here. We definitely need core all this stuff. Get a lot more manpower back, get a lot more industry. Um, I guess at this point, we can reunify the motherland. So let's pause the music real quick. Uh, I might get copyrighted by doing this, but... The triumph of older socialism. Look how happy he is. Many international commentators and historians throughout the years have noted the stark effect of the triumph of the Reich in the 40s had on international ideals. The victory of national socialism transformed the world forever, and this grim metamorphosis is no more apparent than in the lands of Russia. The older socialist party, hailing from the now defunct Komi Republic, has reunited the shattered warlords under the careful gaze of General Se Secretary Ivan Serov. Claiming to be the next stage of socialist thought, older socialism seemingly combines Marxism with radical nationalism and xenophobia, pledging to combat the forces of hereditary reactionaries wherever they lie and spread the order socialist revolution it would seem that the russian national soviet republic is poised to become a powerful player on the geopolitical stage and the world trembles at the thoughts class and nation we are with you we, we we are not yours do not think that we have changed by acknowledging your red banner we recognize it only because it blooms with your national colors 
Thank you very much. That's not it, though. Okay, so when we, like, form this one, Russian National Soviet Republic, we get cores on these immediately. Oh, no, okay, we don't. Okay, I thought we did. We get colony states. So we technically don't have to occupy the land, which is nice, but we still have to core, which is actually, I'm okay with that. That seems actually kind of, kind of fair. Uh, we will go and develop the next stage immediately if we can. We're not quite done with the focus tree. We're almost there. We still have to go to Kazakhstan, which is weird that we could unify the nation, but we don't have Kazakhstan under us yet, but whatever. Oh, are we actually losing 0.67 political power every single day? That sucks. Oh, this is going to suck so much. But adjust the Iranian problem. Expand the Kurgan mines. Yes, yes, you might as well. Uh, oh, that one next, just because we can. Uh, more divisions. Yes, please. Thank you. Just throw them on there, boys. Never enough boys. Actually, since we're here and you're already pretty big, you're a big boy. Go and train. Let's do that. A full thruster slot. Finally, my friends. Get better APCs. You guys are 40 combat with. I don't mind the, the military police. That's actually not too bad, in my opinion. Uh, these guys, they could use a little bit more support equipment and such. Uh, throw them there, too. I don't really get. It doesn't really matter to me. And we're out of manpower. Oh, political power. Manpower is okay for now. Um, Gleb is usually what I like to use as well. <sighs> That's kind of sucks. we having to wait. So, when do the decisions start? Well, we can probably close this out. Um, ah, here it is. Second West Russian War. So every country, we go to war with all of them at the same time. As reunited Russia after 1971, June 1st. And more than 25 command power, which is totally fine with us. Uh, I'll be honest, this kind of sucks having to wait to core this much. Oh, free military factories. Um, we've got a lot of planes. We need we need a lot of this stuff too. Expand the Kurgan mines, very nice. And source for materials, why not? Very good. And we'll advance the development on stage and get some more uh, political power too. How much? How many guns are we missing? Oh yeah, we still got to spend more money right now. It's fine. GDP isn't too bad, but that's kind of high, which I don't like. But whatever. Uh, we're building up some more air bases here too. That's okay. We don't really need those air bases, so keep building this stuff up first. Good, good, good. So building budget boost, which we'll need to expand anyways, because we want to build, 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 build. Thank you very much. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Keep spending. Keep spending. Keep spending. Keep making. Keep making. Keep making. Because the campaign's not over yet. Let's do that one first. And right now, if they're, I really doubt if they're at 55%, if they're 51% or 50%, will they join us? Um, Influence Central Asia. Diplomats of Kazakhstan. Oh, what does this have to do? So, no, I don't think it's really going to do anything for us. Promote socialism in Kyrgyzstan. I really don't think it's going to do anything for us. So, I think we just have to militarily invade, probably. And then chase the sun. Actually, where are we for social development right now? We're really good at academic base. Wow. Primary schooling and secondary schooling. They give us 5% more output, 5% more research speed, 2.5% more cap. Not bad. Um, modern research facilities is still going up. Oh, Jeff Fighters are good to get as well. Ah, good. More tanks. Probably. Awesome. And let's grab you. Get some more of this too. That'd be good. And make sure our planes are all okay because the Germans are going to have a massive air force, I bet. Like, we don't even have to think about it. They're going to have a huge air force, probably. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. Um, cast, get even more casts. You go right here. Nice. And then you guys go right there. All right, not bad. Keep doing what you're doing. Great, great, great. Iran is falling apart from itself. That's fine with us. We don't really care. And over here, we're going to integrate Yakutia. It's okay. It's okay. And then I'm probably going to save up next to invade Kazakhstan. But overall, I would say for the most part, this campaign was fun. I mean, it, it always kind of sucks playing and starting out as Comey, which I did off screen, so we didn't have to waste time with that stuff. But uh, it's always a little difficult to start off as Comey. And I'm like, eh, it's okay. I don't know. Comey's difficult. It can be. So I need to play Shafarovich as well sometime. Uh, since we're over here, anyways, waiting, uh, we're going to military invade. You, Ukta, you guys can just kind of wait. We don't really need this anymore, probably. Oh, as you can see, I was trying to build up a lot of air. If we ran out of things to build, I was just going to get rid of, like, build all this stuff, so. Let our guys train for now. Let them train, 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 train. More civvies, more civvies. Cool. Anti-tank. 
And yeah, grab that too. That'd be good. How many guns are we making? Uh, we need. We definitely need more. Artillery is looking pretty good. We can lower it by five probably. And there goes parts of Iran. That's fine. No one cares. Let's get ready to invade Kazakhstan, and just keep kind of quarrying more stuff. Because right now we have a total of how many divisions? Eighty-three. That is realistically just not enough. I mean, eventually, when we initially push in, we'll do really well. Probably get all the way maybe to Brashishtat, perhaps. We might get all the way down to the tip of the Black Sea, maybe. I kind of doubt it, but hey, we'll see. And I really want to acquire more stuff here. Uh, Northern Siberia. That's not a lot of people. That's really not a lot of people. Uh, Bratsk. Probably Bratsk would be good to do. Well, wherever it is. Bratia. Oh, Bratia is really good to do. Cheetah. Oh, Cheetah is really good as well. Um, how many days is this until we can go to war with them? I never remember. Oh, that's in two months. That's not too bad. How's GDP? 51 billion is way too much, but that's okay because we keep making more divisions. That's okay, 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 okay. So we have enough anti-tank now. We got enough artillery. Gun-wise, not looking great. We'll get fix that soon, soon enough. ABCs are looking great. So port equipment is actually looking quite bad as well. Um, overall, not too bad. But, uh, I don't know. I think I'll probably see you when we're about ready to invade. And here we go, everyone. Kazakhstan, well, in the initial assault, just lost 26,000 people. We're still coring some stuff, of course. It's not like that much time has gone on. But we've lost 34 guys against 57,000? 68 guys? That's, that's not too bad. They're up to 22 divisions, so... Um, are we really ready to go to war? The, actually, you know, realistically... Uh, I don't know. Going to war with the entire Copra Superior Sphere at, at first seems... Uh, not gonna be easy, man. It's not gonna be easy. Um, but then again... Oh, if we go to war with Germany, it's just gonna end in nukes flying. It really is. Uh, unless there's a peace deal, like, you can manually peace out, which I kind of doubt there is. But if you want to about a brute academic base, peace go right ahead. That is something to be celebrated. I think we might want to struggle first with the, these guys. Because we won't be taking that much core territory off the Japanese. And even then, it's not core territory. So, I mean, the only problem with taking these guys out is that they will eventually, uh, you know, navally invade us. Which sucks. But at the same time, not really much we can do about that. So, uh, that's going to kind of suck. We're, we're, we're going to run out of manpower. Especially fighting China. Oh my goodness. I know the Chinese divisions are really, really bad. They have a lot of manpower. Actually, they don't have that much. That won't be too bad. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, how strong is Japan's army? Oh, they got a lot. They got a lot. Wow. And there they go as well. So, um, I'd rather keep recording this stuff. Let's go ahead and... I don't want to... Uh, I guess Germany first, I guess, technically. Germany first, just because, well, realistically, we have... I don't want to use console commands. We might invade Korea. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this goes first. Because if it doesn't go well, we won't, but... I don't know. Gotta wait for TNO2, right? Gotta wait for TNO2, so... At, at the very least, we need to invade Germany. Or at least... Reichskommissar at Muscovy, or whatever they call it now. Um, I don't like doing like this, but we kind of have to... There you go. Cool. Alright. Uh, do we have any cooldown for invading the Reich? That's my question. Enter... Oh! Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, how about we do that one first? Uh... Yeah, I, I just set that stuff up. Ooh, fine, so be it. Alright, so let's do that then. You guys come over here. Except you guys in half, because that's too much supply. Let's see what happens with this. You guys come over here and do that too. And that's Kyrgyzstan and Uzbekistan. Nice. I didn't know we had something like this. That's actually really cool. So, Central Asia. We just go straight to war with all of them. All right, so be it. Uh, it's almost 72. Light aircraft, get some more fuel tanks, that'd be really good. And basic jet cast, and we'll go with 1970s uh, improved jet cast one, which would be very good. Improve that as well. It's probably down here, actually. We're, not, we're buying some rubber, too, to help us out. Um, okay, then. Right, okay, you want to do about better dust trucks, please? Please go ahead. Excellent. Innovator stuff, nice. Great. Love it. A more, why not? Not really worth probably coring a moor, but, you know, whatever. Ah, 400,000 is still pretty good. We'll take whatever we can get, right? You know. Over here shouldn't be too bad, but you never know, man. You really never know. Um, They have maybe 10... Yeah, they've got 10 divisions max. Uh, okay, the first one's gone. Nice. Ooh. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. 
Shouldn't be too bad to defeat these guys. Up next, Aldan Erlsk. Yes. I'm not even going to pause at this point. Just keep going, keep going. Get more armor, get more breakthrough for those tankies. That's very good stuff. Anything over here, 51 billion. Still not great, but hey, not too bad. 400,000 manpower. Still pretty good. Pretty and decent. This is one of the rare campaigns where we're actually invading Central Asia, which I actually really like. They are actually doing this. Um, Turkmenistan should fall pretty soon. Who else are we at war with? Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan. Tajikistan's right there, so. Boom, boom, boom. Nikois? Yeah, someone's going in there already. There goes Turkestan. Tajikistan is next. Got it. Let's, 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 Tashkent is right there. Please go get it. Please, please, please. Ashgabat. Yes, we love Ashgabat. You, me, anyone that does not love Ashgabat is not a true auto socialist. Oh, uh, where's the capital now? Koharga? Um, I guess I don't know there, guys. Hey, there goes those guys as well. All right, we got them. Not bad. I like it. And time to do this again. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, military budget boost. We can stop doing that for now. We're definitely going to need to increase the size or increase the amount of money we're spending for the budget um, <laughs> very soon. Because we're not going to have enough manpower for this at the very least. So. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Uh, something like that, something like that, something like that. I mean, these Varex Commissariats they have no good divisions. Not really. Realistically, they don't. Train when you get there if you need to. Um, tactical bombers. We're going to need more planes for this. We're definitely going to need more planes for this. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Bing bong. Cut. There we go. One, two. Oh, yeah. We definitely don't have enough here. And then continue doing this. We can do the theoretical research and stuff, but we don't really need to do that right now. Do that. Oh, we have no more focus, which makes sense too. And nice, nice. 49 billion, that is better than before. Yeah, 460,000, pretty good. Oh, more military factories. Oh, sign us up. Get five more of those. Advanced APCs, you can put five there too. We're gonna need a little bit more of this. Oh boy, we're gonna need, ooh, we actually need more guns now. Transport helicopters, it requires nuclear weaponry, very nice. Um, oh, no, we're good on infantry equipment. Why did the game lie to us? I don't like getting lied to. All right, let's do that one too. October, very good, very good. Um, uh, keep it on twenty for now. Increase this a little bit more. We don't need any more of that. Anti tank, maybe. I really doubt it though. Uh, definitely more tanks though. Definitely, 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 def definitely more tanks. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Chaos. Oh, we have no more spare chaos. Okay, that's fine. And keep coring, keep coring, keep coring, keep coring. Because we're going to be out of manpower by the time we're done here. 100% out of manpower. There you go. And you guys, same as you. 370,000 manpower. Not good enough. Throw you wherever you need to go. 93 divisions. Is this going to be enough to take these guys all on? Probably not. <clears throat> Do we actually have... Oh, huh. I told you guys to come over here, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Get some more armor. Why not? So Tufts go over there. Omps go over there too. Guys, now we're gonna go in Turkmenistan. Nice. Hmm. 20 combo width, probably. Not bad. Not bad. And we will go to war very, very soon. And here we are, my friends. I've just decided to go to war with all of these fine, fine folks. Well, I got quite a few divisions here. Hopefully we can go ahead and take away this. And then put on a front line. Oh my goodness, that sucks. Seriously. Um, we just go in. Just go in, guys. Just go in. I don't understand why we're not at war with uh, these guys. Are we not at war with these guys? No, we're at war with them. Uh, why can't we do... There we go. Now we can do that. That's nice. Um, yeah, it's going to be really bad. That's going to end in nuclear hellfire. Go ahead and pause real quick and do that. There we go. That's what we want to see. Russia declares war on Germany. The world stands in shock as the recently reunited Russia has declared war on Germany, the goal, public goal of the Russian government being to retake rightfully Russian lands from the German occupiers and make the Germans pay for their decades of humiliation. The German Reich has begun a process of mobilization against their old eastern foe, promising to both the German people and the world that the Russian nation would be defeated once more with only a few weeks. The world holds its breath, for as the first time in history, two nuclear armed powers are going to be directly fighting against one another. With the fate of the world at the stake, millions are praying that the conflict can be resolved soon without plunging the world into darkness. World.400 003.g. We must take from them the right nationalism without capitalism, and from the left socialism without internationalism. Gregor Strasser. 
Hmm. I didn't hear anything, so. Let's see what happens. And are we spending more money? Oh, we have 1.3 million manpower. That's not bad. And we're almost done courting everything here, too, so. Hopefully, we can move in fairly okay like. I mean, they're taking a lot of losses. We're doing okay our ourselves. Not great, but we're doing okay. Uh, throw them in. Go, go, go. If you possibly can, for the love of God, do not let up until I tell you to let up. Enemy's got a lot of manpower. Um. Any more fighters, perhaps? Yes. 200 here. Seven more here, perhaps. Hopefully we can do okay. We already ran a few divisions here now. But we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. Oh, if we get to Moscow, that'd be really great. But we'll obviously have to wait and see what happens. That's not too bad. Good. And they're both overran. Uh, we've killed off 200,000 manpower. 200,000, not bad. We have 111 divisions in total. Actually, how many do they have in total? They have up to 670. We are completely outmatched. Oh, the Germans are showing up now. That's not good. That's really not good. Um, this is one heck of a fight. Jesus Christ. 300,000 versus 100,000 losses. They're definitely attacking us now, so. Uh, I should have done this earlier, too. My bad. This is my fault. I should have done more of this stuff. Uh, something like that, and then something like this. Hold, 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 baby boys and girls. Hold right now. Hold, hold, hold. Wartime industry was part of our land auction. And... See what we do right there. Cool. Yeah, you're not going to win against us. They overran some of our division. Okay, we're going on the offensive. Screw that. Screw these guys. We're going on the offensive. We can't let up and go on the defense. No way, man. No flipping way. They overran some of our divisions. Poop out more divisions. Now, 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 now. We got to go on the offensive and kill every last one of these guys. More divisions. More men. More men. More divisions. The Germans will pay in deep blood for this. They just lost another division of theirs. Great. Uh, they have a lot of manpower, though, which really sucks. A million manpower? Not bad. Uh, where are they at? We can't really tell. You guys should be running out. You guys really should be running out of equipment by now. Oh, crap. Now, now we got to go in defense. Okay. Everyone else hold. For now, defend, defend, defend. I'll poop out as many divisions as we need to. Keep holding out. How do... No. You screw these tanks over. Screw these tanks, man. That's BS. We've lost a third of a million. They've lost 800,000 already. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, this is, this is nuts. But hey, as long as they keep attacking and we keep defending well, we should do okay. We should do okay. Ostracon, get that stuff in there. Uh, you might even need some radar, too. We'll see. As long as we're not losing too much on the front, that's what matters to me the most. You want to win? All right. That's going to cost you. It's going to cost you a whole bunch. Uh, my apologies about that, but we're doing, I would say, overall, okay. Uh, I mean, third of a million casualties, I kind of expected, honestly. Uh, we killed off 1.16 million, which is not bad, but they have a lot more manpower. Also, we could start a nuclear war if we wanted to, um, but let's wait for that. And we can demand the German surrender if we have Livlin and Kiev, so we've got some time. We definitely have some time before we get down there, so. <laughs> this is a huge war. Oh, God, I can't wait for Tino, too. Oh, if we get down here, we can actually cut these guys off and kill them off. But that'd be kind of nice. But we're not quite there yet. Overall, I would say our defensive line, even though there's probably a little bit of red here, we're doing... Oh, okay. I forgot about Iran. Oh, crap. That's not good. Hmm. Well, then. Hmm. Well, the supplies are really bad through here. We do have some extra divisions. New army? All right. So be it. New army. I completely forgot about this. Completely. That's my fault. I forgot that Iran was... Actually, I didn't even realize that Iran was in the Einhex pack, so... Uh, head on down here, guys, and see what you can do. Completely forgot about that. My bad. Head on down, boys, because the rest of this front should be okay. Even though we're actually lacking a lot of arty right now, which is really, really, really bad. Um, go down by five. I think that should be okay. Uh, we can always lower the amount of planes we're making as well. Go down to five. Go down to fifteen. I think that should be okay for now. Um, you guys, honestly, because these guys are kind of separated, and these guys are really not that strong, we should be able to push in okay like through here. Obviously, this is not very good. Um, oh, wow. Our manpower is looking not too good right now at all. A military budget boost would do that too as well. Cut it down some more so we can save some manpower as well. Bring it up some more. That's not terrible. Uh, we've killed off now 1.6 million of them. 1.4 million Germans have died themselves from the GGR. Connected all. Get some advanced jet fighters would be very good. 
Uh, yeah, they still have a million manpower, which is not very good, and they have a lot of equipment anyway, so we'll see what happens. If it doesn't go well, then it doesn't go well. It is what it is. I mean, to retake all the land that we've lost from the Germans is going to be pretty insane, but, especially since it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, but still. You should be able to win there. Yeah, look at that. That looks really good. Um, hey, Jetcast, great, great. Yeah, we don't have a lot of manpower. Uh, signal companies, why not? Something different. Something different this time. Though the monitor, uh, regular divisions, probably. They still got a lot of equipment to go through. Sure, we'll do that one, too. Overall, we should be able to do this okay-like. Maybe not super great, but we should do okay-ish. Um, we actually should be able to start pushing in, actually, in some of these areas. Can we actually do that, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We actually at this point we might be able to push in because they're not attacking us. Oh crap! They're not. Oh, oh they nail invaded us. That is smart by the Germans to do. We're going in. We're going in, boys. That's going to cost us a lot, but we've got to do it. At this point, we've got to do it. Take as much land as possible. Overrun their divisions. We're actually doing a really good job so far. I would say 2.26 million. Not bad. Take their fuel reserves. Uh, you guys do the best you possibly can over here. You guys do the best up here as you possibly can as well. Um, yeah. That's not great for us. 2.3 million. We're taking about half a million in losses. Obviously not very good. You guys are doing the best you possibly can right now. Yeah, some of these guys are looking really bad. But Russland has got to be giving up soon. Like, oh my goodness. This is nuts. Ukraine itself has so many divisions. If we were to actually do this, I know this is just kind of like using just a submod and stuff, but... I'd imagine that someone else would be pulling some really nasty tricks around here, but if any, in any case, we can always just cause nuclear war in the end, so. Because that's really bad right now. This is really bad as well. Eh, I should have waited a bit longer, but hey, it is what it is. Rasha shot would be nice. Getting a live limb would be nice. Um, we really don't have any divisions to spare. I and mean, we're on total mobilization as well. Oh god, the Caucasus still have a lot of manpower. If we can break through this initial section, I think we'll probably do really quite well. I mean, casualty-wise, ratio-wise, half a million to almost roughly three is not bad. It's just that we don't have enough manpower, really. So. I mean, we can kill as many as we, as we want to, but... I don't know. I mean, there's still Russians here living, right? And they hear of, the Ru of like, us reinvading to liberate them. Will they just not rise up? Especially under Borman? That's what I'm thinking. But I think these guys are just steamrolling through. And there's not much we can really do about this. And we just know the manpower for it. We've killed off a ton of, di ton, of, ton of divisions. Tons of manpower. Probably at least 100 divisions so far. Realistically. But I just don't see us able to actually win this. So uh, I might just call here. I might just nuke them. End the world of nuclear hellfire probably. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, that's not good, not good. And we're running out of manpower. I wish we could raise our conscription level some more, but we're already on a four-year draft. Kind of don't like that we can't raise it any higher. A national renaissance. Oh! Hey, we got rid of one of them. Nice. Really good. Really, really good. That actually helped us out a whole bunch. Ooh. We need to be in the Ukraine for this part. That actually helped us out a ton. A ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, hopefully. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, these guys are all surrounded. Look at that. Nice. Good job. Help them out. And by helping them out, I mean kill them off. So as long as... I'm not too worried about this. As long as we can cut the Caucasus in half and take the fuel, their ability to wage war will go way down, hopefully. Moscow? Get Moscow. Get Moscow. Get Moscow. Moscow. Oh, we got St. Petersburg or Petrograd back. That's good, good, good. Um, I just need you guys to deploy immediately, just so that we can do this as well. I'll actually cut these guys down. There you go, there you go. You're just here to, to slow down the advance right now. Slow down, slow it down. Oh my god, look at that lag. Game, why is it, why is it lagging so badly? Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, don't crash. Holy crap, that's insane how bad that lag was. Go, go, go. Oh, please. He's German. He doesn't deserve to live. K-1 
Keep going, guys. Keep going. We're not done yet. Oh, why is it lagging so badly? Take Baku if we can. Happy 1973, everyone. We've lost 600,000. They lost nearly 4 million. How can the GGR keep this up? I don't understand how they can keep it up. They still have 2 million. They still have another million manpower? How? Hable is murdered, as he should have been. Um, 74. Like there, like there. Can we do this one too? No. Wait to do that one. Uh, better engineers, maybe? Ah, yes! We have the fuel. We have the fuel. Oh, we lost the car. Oh, we lost the capital. That sucks. Mm. Come on, they're just Germans. Go, boys, go. I know you're struggling for manpower and such. Yeah, that's... that. Are they cheating? These guys have got to be cheating or something here, man. I don't understand, like... How do they lose 3.24 million when they start with 2 million and they're stuck on 1 million? That makes no sense to me. Of course, they have a professional army, uh, poverty rate, oh, modern industrial equipment. Can we see anything else here? What is what's conscription all the way on? The OBS, of course, Klopfer, data cohesion, oppression. Uh, so I'm not really sure what level they're on. Ooh, Brax protector out. The Russland is almost gone. They're almost gone. Almost gone. Almost gone. Almost gone. Student companies are nice. You guys, please keep hurrying us up. This is so bad. This is... Eh, it's actually getting slightly better, I would say, overall. Um, so. What a mess. What a gigantic mess. I have to get more artillery. Oh, and second inauguration of the U.S. president. Nice. Ah, Russland has gone too. Good. Keep killing them. Keep killing them. Actually, I might turn back and invade over here too. Oh, we got a lot more manpower. Look at that. Nice. Kill them off. Do not let them escape. Do not let them escape. I swear to God, do not let them escape. At this point, uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Take more, take more, take more, take more. Because we're going to take these guys out next. This amorphous blob all has to die. Because we can leave this alone for now. Taking out up north to get our territory back is going to be super, super important. That's fine. That's fine. Go, 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 go. These guys are about to get cut off. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Should have separated the tank divisions, but whatever. Guys. Guys. I don't give a crap about supply right now. You find enemy divisions, you kill them. We've taken almost a mil... Eh, 700,000 casualties. They've taken nearly 5 million. 3.7 million casualties, and they're still not enough. It's still not enough to make a dent in here. That literally makes no sense. Alright. They want to do the crap like this. We're going to turn an entire army around and kill them again. Come on. What are you doing? Alright, maybe you want to go there? So be it. Go, 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 go. Just go to Archangels. Like, stop wasting time. Just go. Guys. What the heck did I just say? Just go. Anything here? Nope. Anything here under Larianov? Perhaps, perhaps. No. It's disappointing. Um, Mikhail? Infantry expert, good. Find and kill, find and kill. Give me half you guys go right there. Germany definitely messed with the wrong group here. Get our own manpower back. We lost the Nova Sobiesk air plant base. Kill every last German. The Teuton does not deserve peace. Well, they're now down 300 divisions. That's pretty good, I'll be honest. That's pretty darn good, I'll be like, compared to where it was before. Recon company. And. Even more recon companies. Boost it up, baby. Boost it up. We definitely got to boost that one up, too. Definitely, 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 definitely. You guys keep doing this area. Nice, good. Five-year plan, effective gone. Anti-air, nice. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. We got one, too. This is a mess over here on the right. Just a gigantic mess. I got the fuel back, unfortunately. And we got it surrounded. God dang it. 
Uh, as soon as we get this stuff done, I'm not even going to bother with this stuff. These guys over here have to die. So yeah, please explain to me how you can continually conscript more manpower in TNO when you obviously cannot. How? Four million German soldiers have died. Now hold and do what you have to do. Spread out like cancer and kill them all off. They lost over four million and they basically didn't even take any hits. Do the manpower pool. Food and space and loss, that sucks. Why are you doing that? Go this way. Ding dongs. Break out, break out, break out. Oh, we got more divisions. Uh, well, we don't have that many divisions left, really. Don't make any more after that. Um, head on over here. Do you have anything? How do we keep losing these plants? Seriously. They're not even that far over here. They lost the body. Yeah, I doubt it. Alright, so at this point, uh, give me everything, all the tanks you got. We'll use the tanks for this part now. Anything over here? No, 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 and yes. We don't have that many tanks, but five tanks will be good enough. You guys, thank you very much. Get back on the front line and get ready to rumble again. Round two. You guys head over here. Hmm. These guys are all politically connected. Can you not be such terrible bureaucrats? <laughs> go. You guys go immediately. You guys get to the line immediately. Go back to the line and kill them all off. Uh, in the meantime, you guys head on right through here. That'd be good. And I got 200,000 manpower. That's not bad. Because you guys should be able to clean these guys up here. We'll send some more guys around here to deal with this stuff too. And yeah, this is not looking good over here. Are you going to move or what? Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. They got the fuel back, which is not, which is absolutely 100% unacceptable. And you go straight on in. They're looking really bad. You go in immediately. You kill every last German off you see. Which could send some political power for more manpower, but there's not really much we can do about that. Hey, we broke free. Nice. Keep going, keep going. The Teutons got to learn a lesson here. Don't let them, don't let them leave. 4.32 million. They're still raising more manpower, are they? How? They still have a lot of equipment, like, don't get me wrong. Actually, they're running out of infantry equipment. That's good. Anything else? Game. Come on. Flip it over. Flip it over here. They got Petrograd back for now. Guys, you've got to go, 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 go. It's faster, 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 faster. As a famous Frenchman once said. China modernizes. Good. They've up to 37 divisions. Not that much manpower. Protectorat is almost, you know, they got nothing basically. They got a few bodies. A little more manpower left. Guys. Go in here. Don't let your brethren die for nothing. You guys are doing okay here. Not great, but they'll do okay. Do we cut these guys off yet? Yes, we have. Yes, technically yes. What the heck are you doing? Keep going, keep going. Look at that. Good. Six million. We've... Less than a million calories for us. And they're taking over six million. That's pretty good. Take Baku. For the love of God, take and keep Baku. Right, you guys looking pretty good over here, too. Um, that's why I sent the tanks over here. Obviously, we, like, we have no extra tanks. We have a lot of artillery now. Um, we need a lot more anti-air. Holy crap. We need a lot of anti-air. Uh, did I even ever make any? Uh, maybe I didn't. Anti-tank. No, I never made it. Okay, that's really bad then. Whoopsie. Um, lower by 10. Share the wealth a little bit. And we have not, not enough for planes, which really sucks, so. There you go. Alright then, get another one. More passive defense. Uh, Petrograd will be ours soon enough again. Very soon, actually. You see a, you see a German, you kill him. 
Hey, we got Baku good stuff. Gets the Brez. Good. They can keep spreading that far that direction if they really want. There's going to be nothing in the end. The Germans got nothing on us. Go in. Good. Five million dead Germans. That's still too, many, too much manpower for them. Petrograd is ours, my friends. Once again, it is ours. And once they lose enough territory, they're going to start launching nukes, probably. Oh, this is so good. So good, so good. Spread like cancer. I'm waiting for these guys to get done eventually. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? We just don't have enough divisions for this stuff. Are you guys doing anything? Like... Go, 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 go. How do we get more manpower? These are, this isn't core territory. Like, this is all... Like, uncored. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Even Iran's looking pretty good right now. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we're getting even more manpower. Alright, well, I'll take that. Gladly. Sure, why not? Why not, you know? Why not? Good. Help up root entrenchment here in the Baltics. Guys, you are not you are nowhere near done. They've only killed off a total of 7.28 million Germans and their accomplices. And obviously that is unacceptable. You guys are doing okay so far. Not great, but they're doing okay. They're doing okay. Oh, really, I thought we were going to lose, but with them spreading out like cancer, it really is not good for us. Hmm. Alright, not bad. Get more soft attack on those engineers. Money-wise. Oh, we got the Ukraine. We've got them. Oh, we're fighting the Romanians now. Oh, we got Iran too. Oh, look at all that fuel. Oh, suck on that fuel, baby. Or fuel suckers. Where's Jimmy gonna get his fuel now, huh, baby boys? Keep spending, keep spending. We got... We, we take out more people. We get more manpower. Holy crap. Alright, so at this point, you gotta spread out a little bit more like this. Wee. Are we really fighting the Rom Romanians? Because if we are... No, we're not. Okay, that's good. Mikhail the first. Oh, we demand your surrender. Well, once we get to Livlin. Which we slowly are. It's all open. Incredibly brutal fighting down here. Um, go with Throw Planner. Oh, I should have gone with Adaptable. That's what I should have done. Oh, we're doing really well up there, too. This is looking really bad. But it's okay. I've got a plan. And that plan is to deploy tanks early when they have no, not enough armor on them. That's okay. Actually, just throw them here first. Throw them here so they can get rid of these guys as fast as possible. What are you guys taking so long for? Like, I, I, I don't understand. Go to Onega. Kill them off. It's not that hard. Every last German must die. They have 80 divisions max. They started with over 300. Six million casualties. Come on. Can we not do it? Ah, oh, he's ball. He's Oh, he's looking old. He's looking worried. They still have way too much manpower. But look at that. We got rid of the transport planes. They're out of, uh, what was that, artillery? They're out. They still have some anti-tank. They're almost pretty much out of uh, tanks as well. Planes looking really bad. Hey, it's possible to win against the Germans. It takes a heck of a beating. One heck of a terrible beating. But let's demand the surrender. We demand you'll surrender, Germany. The Treaty of Riga. Our staggering events in the lands of the Reich have stunned the globe, but the Germans especially. The Germans have approached our government with an offer. To avoid nuclear war, the Germans are preparing to accept their Eastern European claims on the condition that Germany proper will be left untouched by the treaty. Tell Germania we accept. This is one heck of a peace conference. This is the first time I've ever done this, so. We've become controller of so many states. Look at all that. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. I want Iran as well. We deserve Iran. Oh my goodness, it's lagging so hard. Like, I can see my blue mouse wheel as well. So I apologize for this, but this is actually really cool. This is ex very difficult. 
Oh, we can actually interview those lizards now. Nice. Oh my goodness, we didn't get Poland yet, but that's okay. Oh, right, so we left Iran with them, you know, acceptable losses. But now that's not too bad. What is this? Oh, we have war goals still against them. Not bad. We don't have our own faction, but. And I guess it Germany surrenders. To many, the outbreak of the Second West Russian War was a futile effort by the new Russian government. A campaign that was destined for failure from the moment the war had been declared, yet the world watches on in shock as a spokesman speaking on behalf of the fears announced today. That in the interest of saving the right from nuclear annihilation, the German government has decided to see their eastern frontier the rising Russian state. The international and domestic embarrassment of giving up their Lebensraum has sent shockwaves across the globe. On the streets of Germany, protests have erupted across the nation as the Wehrmacht prepares to clear martial law. The consequences of the Treaty of Riga will have major repercussions on the German Reich for many years to come. And perhaps that is it. Bald man, Bowman has lost it. We destroyed over th almost, I'd say, 300 divisions. In my opinion, 300 divisions. Six million Germans have lost their lives to the might of old old socialism. But, my friends, I think that's going to be it for this campaign. I want to check GP real quick. I thought, I think we've done great. Like, it costs us dearly to get where we've just gotten. But it was, it, I, I, I thought we were going to lose. I'll be honest. I thought we were going to lose and I had to use n nukes to do this. But, hey, that's great. We got... All of Ukraine, Belarus, the Baltics back with us, the Caucasus, Crimea. This was awesome. And if we do it again, I mean, we'd, we'd have to just flush invade as fast as possible. The Iron Heights Pact has been stiff, helped uh, serve a very tremendous blow. Um, in, in the UK right now, ah, they've been cooed by the government. So they still have France without Brittany. Iron Heights Pact with uh, Poland, uh, Bulgaria, Slovakia, Hungary, Norway, and they still have Iran, but... Russia's back, baby. And our GDP is not that bad. But, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know your thoughts about the second West Russian War. And I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.